And a good spiritual morning to you once again. I'm Father Cosmas. Thank you for joining me today from my prayer corner here at home for a quick chat and our morning cup of coffee. You notice I've got the frozen mug going for today because I thought uh, we would talk about a new kids movie that's actually out. It's been released on Netflix. And uh, it's been a couple of days since uh, I put out a video. Uh, of course, I had to take a little bit of time because we recently celebrated our feast day of St. Demetrius at our parish. So uh, it's been a couple of days, but I thought I would come back and make a couple of lighter videos. And so today I thought I would talk about a new uh, kids movie that's out on Netflix. It's called Over the Moon. And uh, we watched it, you know, with our with our girls. It looks like it's, you know, aimed at some of the younger kids. And, um, you know, saw the kind of trailer for it. Uh, on Netflix, and you can't kind of help but see the trailer because as soon as you kind of highlight that box, they play a little bit of a of the a snippet of the movie for you to see. And um, so we watched it. I watched most of it, not not one hundred percent. I was multitasking and doing something else while it was going on, and and, and the kids were watching it. But uh, I sort of found it to be kind of a combination of sort of these other movies, sort of this amalgam of other movies, kind of put together. It seemed to be a cross between Frozen and um, Inside Out and Coco. You know, kind of just putting these three movies together. If you put those three together, you get this thing, which they put out on Netflix. Um, and so it's very bright and colorful. The animation is beautiful. It's, it's wonderfully done. Again, a little bit like Coco um, and very interesting sort of in that way. Uh, and then, you know, there's lots of you know, songs, lots of singing, lots of, you know, numbers that they have, kind of just going from one song to another, and songs that really are, are designed toward, you know, young girls, and will resonate with them, a little bit like Frozen. And then, uh, but then there's this kind of sort of emotional struggle in the movie, this sort of strange emotional kind of challenge and turmoil, like uh, Inside Out, which made a lot of people uncomfortable when they watched it, uh, because there's a lot of kind of heavy emotion that ends up surfacing in the movie. So I don't want to give away too much in terms of spoilers, but just to kind of say that there is some heavy emotion that you're dealing with in the movie, the characters are dealing with, the two main characters, and uh, basically they're dealing with loss. The main character is a young girl who has lost her mother, and then the other main character is sort of a fictional character kind of in mythology that has lost her the love of her life, her husband, so to speak. And they're both dealing with, you know, how to have this loss, experience this tragic, terrible loss, but then learn to sort of keep living and learn to move on, which is an interesting message. It's just a little bit tough um, for little kids to kind of process um, at all, and then especially to process or sort of relate to if they haven't experienced, you know, a severe loss in their lives. So um, could I recommend the movie? It was not a great movie. Visually, it's beautiful. You know, it, it had some decent, you know, themes to it. Um, there wasn't a lot happening. You know, my kids kind of got bored with it a little bit because, like I said, it was kind of just linking together, you know, uh, musical numbers. There wasn't a lot happening. But while it was visually beautiful, and it had this kind of decent message to it about working through uh, difficulties in your life, working through loss, and trying to continue living. That's a good message. Um, I think that the main message or the main benefit to it is teaching kids about empathy. Because I think most kids probably haven't experienced horrible loss at that level, you know. And so they're trying to relate. And I think parents can kind of help them connect the dots a little bit by relating and saying we should sort of realize that there are people around us that have experienced tragedy in their life, have experienced bad things happen, and they might be hurting and they might be struggling and they might need us to understand how they feel and they might need us to be nice to them and help them. So um, I thought that they could have played up that part a little bit more because you know, quite honestly, my kids had a hard time empathizing or, you know, relating with the movie itself um, because they haven't experienced that kind of tragedy. And but to sort of say, well, it's important to know how people feel and to be able to put yourself in someone else's place and try to understand where they're coming from 
and also just in general, you don't know what people are going through in their lives. You don't know what struggles they're dealing with, what challenges they have. And so it's always a good idea to be nice to people and be supportive of people. I think they could have played that up a little bit more, and that might be the angle to take uh, with a movie like this, you know, because there's some value to it, but uh, it was it was okay. I couldn't really recommend it, but if you're looking for something new for the kids to watch, it was a little bit entertaining, and uh, depending on the child, they might like it, they might not. It's hit or miss. My two daughters watched it. One liked it, one didn't. And the one that did like it is six, so I can't really give a strong recommendation uh, from a six-year-old. But uh, it was okay. And again, if par parents sit down and try to talk to their kids a little bit, uh, it opens a door for a good conversation about, you know, how to show filotimo, how to show a sense of love and support for everybody because you don't know what they're going through, and how to empathize, how to think about something from someone else's perspective. That's an important thing for us to understand and to practice in the spiritual life. Once again, may our Lord and Savior bless us and keep us this day and every day. Amen.